lightning. That guy's best friend. It's one of the most awesome phenomena in the natural world. But it does make me wonder, where does lightning get its moves from? Lightning moves at nearly 6,000 kilometers per hour. We perceive lightning as coming from the sky downward, but in reality, it's a bit more complex than that. To understand exactly how lightning moves and forms its distinctive shape, we have what's called a Lichtenberg figure. With this bad boy, we can push 2,500 volts through this piece of wood, which, when coated with a little salt water, provides much more resistance than air and slows down the path of electricity. When conditions are right for a thunderstorm, a channel of ionized air called a negative leader initiates from the charged regions of a thundercloud. These downwards leaders spread out towards the ground looking for the path of least resistance. As they near the ground, they draw electrons upwards in the form of positive leaders. When downwards and upwards leaders meet, that's when you get magnificent discharge and... The massive bolt that occurs when lightning strikes is called the return stroke. The return stroke averages 30 kiloamperes. To put that in perspective, 0.03 amperes is enough to kill you. Ooh. The distinctive patterns that occur when lightning strikes are called fractals. These infinitely complex patterns are self-similar across different scales and can be found in nature from snowflakes to canyons to leaves to peacock feathers. Oh, nature, you're so crazy. TLDR, lightning searches for the shortest path to the grounds that don't stand under a tree during a thunderstorm or a power line. Thanks for watching, nerds. I'm Leah, here at Deacon's awesome Cadet Shock Lab. Massive shout out to technical officer Hayretton for letting us use his sweet space. If you want to see more electrifying experiments, click here. Or if you just want to watch things explode in slow motion, click here. Peace out, guys.